In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking you through arithmetic operators uh, and how they can be used in PHP to perform uh, arithmetic op operations uh, on different variables. So the first thing I'm going to do is create two variables. Uh, the first one is going to be called num1. Uh, I'm going to make this equal to 10. Uh, the second is going to be equal num2 and this is going to be equal to 2. Now the six uh, or seven um, arithmetic operators that you can use within PHP are plus, minus, times or multiply which is um, uh, an asterisk um, and divide which is a forward slash. Now they're the uh, sort of main ones uh, the additional ones we've got are modulus, which is a, a percentage sign, and this will give us the remainder of two numbers. And we also have um, increment and decrement as well. So this will increase a number by one, and this will decrease a, num uh, decrease a number by one. So um, let's just get rid of them. The first example we're going to show is I'm going to create a variable called result, and this is going to equal num1 we're going to put our arithmetic operator here, so I'm going to say plus for example, and then num2. And don't forget the semicolon at the end of your line. So result should now equal 12 because we're adding number 1 or num1 which is 10 and num2. So what we can do is we can come down here and echo out result. Now if we open up our browser and refresh our page, you can see that the we're outputted with 12, which is in fact correct, because 10 add 2 is 12. Now we can go ahead and just uh, dynamically change this. We can change this to minus, refresh, that should equal 8. There we go, we've got 8 outputted now to the browser. Uh, we can then multiply, so we can say 10 times 2, that's obviously 20, so we should be left with 20, which we are here. Uh, and these are all being in, uh, stored in the variable result. You could uh, automatically say echo out or directly echo out, but we want to store it because it's a lot nicer way we've got it then we can use it later on our program if we want to. Um, I'm now going to divide, so 10 divided by 2 is just going to be 5. Now let's say we wanted to use the modulus uh, operator. Um, I'm going to create this as um, 10 and this is 3. So um, if I want to say um, 10 mod 3, so num1 mod num2, what this is going to do is going is to say 10 divided by 3. Um, now 10 divided by 3 is obviously 3.3 .3 recurring. Um, so this isn't something we want to store in result. But what we do want to do is we want to um, give a remainder. This is what the modulus function does. It gives us a remainder. So result should equal 1 because we um, can divide 3 times then we're left with one number or the number 1 sorry. So let's refresh and you can see that we're left with 1. So that's basically how mod works. It's just um, your um, percentage sign within two numbers. Now um, let's just say um, I want to um, come back to something a bit more uh, advanced. Um, we're going to keep num1 plus num2 but then let's say I want to divide the whole lot by 2. Uh, let's just change this to 2 again. So num1 add num2 is 12 divided by 2 should equal 6. Now at the moment this is going to take priority, this part of the um, uh, operation is going to take priority. So as with any mathematical operations the um, numbers in brackets or the, the um, calculation in brackets is going to come first. Now if we take away the brackets we're going to say num1 plus num2 is 12 divided by 2 should equal 6 but in this um, instance we're getting 11 because we're saying 2 divided by 2 uh, is 1 and then add 10 is uh, 11 so that's just how that's going to work but if we um, encase these in brackets we've got um, this operation completing first which is 12 then we're going to complete this operation divided by 2 should be 6 so if we refresh you can see that just by adding them brackets in we've changed the whole operation around now this is really useful to note when you're programming because you might come out with incorrect figures and then wonder why uh, and this is probably usually a direct result of you you're not using uh, brackets where they're, where they're necessary especially if you're not very good at maths like myself so um, let's go on to something completely different and um, we'll get rid of all of this uh, I'm going to create a variable called num1 uh, and that's going to be equal to 1 and the result is going to be equal to num1 plus plus. Now this plus plus 
is exactly the same as equals num1 plus 1. So what we're doing is we're saying result is equal to num1 um, oh no sorry num1 plus 1. Result is equal to num1 plus 1. So instead of writing out num1 plus 1 we can simply just do plus plus. So let's do plus 1 for now refresh that should equal 2 that's correct now let's change this to plus plus you can see that it just oh right okay so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm actually gonna delete the result part of it because this is how it shortens it so num1 plus plus um, is gonna increment um, our variable num1 so down here what we can do is echo out num1 so refresh and that will equal 2. So this on its own is equal to, is the same as, sorry, num1 equals num1 plus 1. And it's exactly the same, if we just undo all that, it's exactly the same with um, decrementing by 1. So we can say minus minus, num1 is 1, num1 minus minus should take us to 0. Let's refresh, and there we go. So this was a short overview of the uh, arithmetic operators in PHP, how they work, and as a fundamental part of working through uh, not just equations but anything else, uh, this is a, a really important thing to learn, so make sure you understand these.